Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be filling up a water pipe with Red Bull and smoking tobacco out of it to die from caffeinated lung cancer, which I will admit I am very excited to do because honestly, caffeinated lung cancer sounds pretty good to me. But while I am indeed excited to do this experience to smoke tobacco out of a water pipe that is filled with Red Bull to die from caffeinated lung cancer because I want to die from caffeinated lung cancer, I am not really expecting it to be the greatest experience in the world, mainly just because of the taste that I'm thinking I'm going to get from this water pipe right here that will soon be filled up with Red Bull. Because of course, when you fill up a water pipe with something that isn't water, the taste of the smoke coming through that liquid is going to be impacted by, well, that liquid. And while I'd love to say that the smoke that's going over my taste buds and into my lungs and causing me to die from caffeinated lung cancer is going to taste exactly like Red Bull and it's gonna taste fantastic. It's gonna be a super nice, taurine almost citrusy taste. And I'd, I'd love to say that. I'd love to say that I think it's gonna taste like that. And honestly, I don't know what this tobacco right here is going to taste like when it's actually going through the Red Bull. I don't know what it's gonna taste like. But I definitely don't think it's gonna be a very good taste. I definitely do not think it's gonna be a very good taste. I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I hope that this is a fantastic experience, but I'm just not expecting it to be the greatest experience in the world. That is for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, but before I go ahead and actually put, well, the Red Bull in my water pipe, I want to go ahead and introduce you guys to, well, the tobacco I used for the actual tobacco in the water pipe itself and everything like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying I used some Kentucky's best red full flavored cigarette tobacco in my water pipe today. And without further ado, I do think it is now time for me to go ahead and get this Red Bull right here all cracked open. And then after that, after I crack it all open, it is now time for me to go ahead and, well, fill up my water pipe with some Red Bull and then smoke tobacco out of it to die from caffeinated lung cancer. And I'm not going to take a sip of this. I don't want the taste of the smoke to be impacted by me taking a sip of this or anything like that kind of thing. So I'm just going to pour it in directly without taking a sip or anything like that. So let's just see if I can pour this in. And I will definitely have to clean this water pipe quite a bit afterwards because... Is that enough? No, I'm thinking I need a little bit more. I ain't going to lie because it's going to be very, very, very sticky on the inside. That is for sure. Let's see, is that enough? I think that should be, I think that should be good enough. So I'm gonna leave it at that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna go and put the Red Bull down. And now it is time for me to go ahead and well, smoke tobacco out of a water pipe filled with Red Bull to die from caffeinated lung cancer. I'm not really expecting this to be the greatest experience in the world. I ain't gonna lie. Smelling the inside of my water pipe, it doesn't smell very good. It smells like Red Bull mixed with, <laughs> mixed with, mixed with old, uh, old tobacco tar and everything like that. Does not smell very good. I ain't gonna lie. Although my water pipe definitely doesn't smell very good on its own either. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see how this is. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And I will admit, I certainly am very excited to die from caffeinated lung cancer. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and get this water pipe all lit up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Oof, I will admit, it's actually surprisingly smooth kind of thing. That wasn't the biggest hit in the world, don't get me wrong, but it is actually surprisingly smooth. I think probably because this Red Bull has been sitting in the fridge, in my fridge for the last couple of days, and then it was sitting in my cooler on the way here and everything like that kind of thing. So it is still pretty chilly, but overall pretty smooth hit and everything like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go ahead and take another hit though, and then I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know how this actually tastes and everything like that. But I will admit right off the bat, am I dying from caffeinated lung cancer? Most certainly, you know what I'm saying? Most certainly, certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. Man, oh man, yeah. I will admit, it is a very interesting taste that Kentucky's Best Red Tobacco is actually coming through surprisingly distinctly. Certainly no complaints on my behalf about that. And I'm able to taste the tobacco very well as said. But the taste of the Red Bull is not really coming through much at all. If I'm, I am getting something. I am getting something. I was about to say if I'm getting anything because I am getting something. I'm getting a very, very, very light sort of orangey taste. And honestly, it's not nearly as distinct as I thought it was going to be really not half bad in all honesty really not half bad 
it tastes more like water than not, and I think half of the actual taste I'm getting is probably me just inhaling the smell and then thinking it, I'm, I'm tasting it and everything like that kind of thing. I think that's probably half the taste I'm actually getting, but certainly no complaints on my behalf about this experience so far, I will admit. And right off the bat, it is also getting me a little bit buzzed, but not super buzzed, so as such, I'm gonna go and take another hit and go ahead and see if I can get that super fat buzz going, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. <sighs> Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Definitely that last one was a little bit more rough, I ain't gonna lie. Just a little, just a little bit more rough. Whew. That got me good. I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of water real quick, you know what I'm saying? Man, oh man. That got me good. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. That got me good. But overall, yeah, not the worst taste in the world. I am definitely tasting a little bit of Red Bull, don't get me wrong, but not a significant amount. And the amount that I am tasting is actually pretty pleasant kind of thing. I'm getting sort of a very light, sort of taurine slash citrusy taste, along with the taste of the Kentucky's Best Red Tobacco that I use in my water pipe. Yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? Certainly no complaints on my behalf at all. This is not a bad experience, if I do say so myself. It's not the greatest experience in the world. Would I do this again? Probably not. I just wouldn't want to waste my Red Bull or anything like that kind of thing, because I could have taken a couple sips off of this, and no, I'm not going to be drinking this during this video. That's not happening. I'm not drinking this. That would be disgusting, and I am 100% I am unwilling to drink Red Bull out of a used water pipe. That is absolutely not happening. I ain't going to lie. But, but, yeah, I am overall surprised at how good of an experience this is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, yeah, just even the thought of drinking Red Bull that's been smoked through out of a dirty water pipe sounds, oh my goodness, I'd probably vomit. I ain't gonna lie. I would probably throw up. I ain't trying to do that. That is for sure. That was a very good, very complete hit. Certainly no complaints for me, that is for sure. A little bit more of an intense taste. A little bit more of an intense taste off of that one kind of thing. But still not terrible. Just a very nice, light, sort of taurine slash citrusy taste mixing in with the Kentucky's Best Red Tobacco, as said previously. It's pretty much the exact same taste as I got previously, except just a little bit more intense. I wonder why it's getting more intense. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because the taste of the Kentucky's Best Red is dying just a little bit, just because it's getting more tarry and everything like that. Not exactly sure, but it is getting more intense nonetheless. But overall, not bad, you know what I'm saying? Not bad. And I think that was the last hit that I had of this bowl. So as such, I'm gonna go ahead and honestly find myself a stick off of the ground. This stick is not coming up. Let's see, this stick, this stick right here should do the trick, I ain't gonna lie. This stick should do the trick. That rhymes pretty well, I ain't gonna lie. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of that ash out real quick. Get all the ash out and have it just fly all over me because the breeze is just blowing towards me a little bit. There we go, all the ash is out and everything like that. And I think I just spilled a little bit of Red Bull. That is okay, though. It's okay that I just spilled a little bit of Red Bull on my hand and everything like that. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And I've got a little bit more tobacco on my cooler right next to me that I'm going to go ahead and try to put some more in the bowl of, or I'm getting my words all jumbled up just a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna go and try to put some more tobacco in my bowl so I can go and just smoke a little bit more because I will admit, I got a little bit buzzed and that buzz was pretty pleasant. It was a pretty good buzz, I ain't gonna lie. It definitely was not a mix of a caffeine buzz and a and a tobacco buzz, but I will admit, I'm feeling a little bit more awake now than I was before this video. Maybe that is because of the caffeine, but if I had to guess, it's probably just because I'm smoking tobacco out of a water pipe, and when you're smoking tobacco out of a water pipe, you just get super buzzed. So I think that's probably why I'm feeling just a little bit more awake than I was at the beginning of this video, I ain't gonna lie. That's just about all the tobacco that I can actually grab off of my cooler currently and everything like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying? So as such, I'm gonna go ahead and get this all lit up once again and go ahead and continue smoking tobacco out of a water pipe that is filled with Red Bull. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this lit up. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that was a rough one, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna put that down just for a moment and I think I might take a sip of water real quick. Wow, that was, that was really rough, I ain't gonna lie y'all. That was really rough. 
Piano, I will admit, am I dying from caffeinated lung cancer in today's video? I most certainly am. I most certainly am. But I will also admit, I'm actually surprised at how awake I'm feeling right now. Like I totally feel like it's 100% placebo and everything like that kind of thing, but just simply because I, I'm, I'm smoking tobacco out of a water pipe and everything like that kind of thing, that's gonna make me more awake as a whole, just simply because it's getting me super buzzed. But I do feel like there is a placebo effect in there maybe a real effect but it's probably placebo in all honesty that is making me just feel more awake than not just simply because i am indeed i do suppose literally inhaling caffeine and i feel like maybe that's making me feel more awake maybe it's just because it's a new experience that's maybe what's making me feel more awake i don't know either way though if this is making me feel more awake if i'm literally smoking caffeinated tobacco right now that's pretty fire. I want caffeinated tobacco. I ain't gonna lie. That sounds pretty good to me. Having a cigarette that was that that would be ca or having a caffeinated cigarette sounds amazing to me. I I, I would I would totally smoke that 100%. The FDA would never allow that, but I would 100% smoke that. And I, I I might have to just I might just have to invent that. I ain't gonna lie. I might have to put in a patent for that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's pretty much all there was to the second bowl, I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty much all there was to this experience. Overall, what are my final thoughts on this experience? Overall, it was pretty decent. It was a pretty decent experience, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf at all. Yeah, it was better than I was expecting. Did I die from caffeinated lung cancer? Yes, 100%. Well, I'm not dead right now, but am I dying currently from caffeinated lung cancer? Yes, 100%, I totally am. Am I satisfied with the taste that I got from smoking tobacco out of a water pipe filled with Red Bull? Honestly, surprisingly, yes, I actually am, which is not what I was expecting at all. I was expecting it to be a super disgusting, super bad taste that I was not going to enjoy at all. But honestly, it really was a lot more enjoyable than I thought it was going to be at the beginning of this video. It was just kind of a mix of the Kentucky's best nice nice sweet tobacco taste with a nice hint of some taurine slash citrusy taste in there as well kind of thing overall making for not the worst taste in the world and honestly a taste that I think I would not mind at all if it was just in a normal cigarette I ain't gonna lie y'all and overall yeah has not been a bad experience at all you know what I'm saying has not a been a bad experience at all would I do this again though no, I wouldn't. I wouldn't do this again. This has been a lot of fun to do. I'm glad I've done it. Another one off my bucket list, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't do it again just simply because, well, one, I honestly don't be really buying Red Bull all that much. And two, if I am going to buy Red Bull, I definitely don't want to waste any of it by pouring it into my water pipe, you know what I'm saying? I'm saying as such, I would much rather just use normal water. And one thing I did forget to mention is that I am feeling very awake right now. I do 100% feel like, well, not I do 99, not 100%, I do 99% feel like it's probably just the fact that I just smoked tobacco out of a water pipe that's making me feel more awake and probably also the fact that I'm talking to y'all right now but then there's that one percent in me that's like man maybe I really did inhale some caffeine and maybe that's what's making me feel more awake I don't know I don't know it would be pretty cool if inhaling the Red Bull actually made me feel more awake but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works but nonetheless either way filling up a water pipe with Red Bull and smoking tobacco out of it has been a pretty good experience. Not something I'd do again, as said, but it's been a pretty good experience nonetheless. And yeah, really, I have no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I really have no complaints on my behalf. The taste was pretty good, as said. It was just a nice tobacco taste with a hint of citrusy taste and everything like that kind of thing. And I most certainly did die from caffeinated lung cancer in today's video. But I think that's pretty much all I had to say for today's video. So as such, I'm gonna go ahead and well, end off the video right here. Thank you very much for watching me fill up a water pipe with Red Bull and smoke tobacco out of it to die from caffeinated lung cancer. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my, uh, I have my Instagram, my merch, my book, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching y'all. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one.
And one thing I did indeed forget to mention is that this experience did indeed get me pretty buzzed. I don't think because of the Red Bull that I don't think that's why I don't think the Red Bull is what made me get buzzed. I think it's probably definitely just the fact that I smoked tobacco out of a water pipe. But nonetheless, I certainly did get pretty buzzed. But yeah, as said, y'all, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.